So this is how you can remote iPhone to the iPad. Well, in this sense, I'm going to show you how you can remotely control your iPad from the iPhone and let's get into it. First of all, on your iPhone, you need to swipe down from the top right portion of the display to activate at the control center. And as you are in the control center, you need to add a new toggle for the remote management. That is, of course, assuming you do not have it already. But this is what it kind of looks like. It looks like a phone with the Wi-Fi icon in the lower corner. So you can tap on it and nearby devices connected to the same Wi-Fi and part of your ecosystem are going to be listed in here. So I want you to click on the one which shows up and you have some options on and things you can control with this. For instance, you have a home button, which appears as a first button, meaning that if you use your iPad like this, you can tap on your home button on the phone and just return to the home screen. Or you also have some other things for the app switcher, notification center, control center, Siri, and also some media playback options, which include the basic play and pause, forward, backwards, and you know, volume up and volume down, but that's basically it. That's all of the things which you can do in order to remotely control your uh, iPhone and iPad. For some deeper integration of these two devices, you will likely need to perform some different things, like you will need to connect them on a deeper level, perhaps sync photos or sync whatever other files to show up on the same or on both devices at the same time. So we can go deeper, but this is the way which I wanted to show you in this video. Let me know below in the comments. Perhaps I might make an updated video just about that to show you some additional things about it. But that's it. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.